So by this time, it's been uh, about a month in pediatric ICU, and they can't basically figure it out. They're like, you know, we treat them for the pneumonia, and it's, it's not working. We don't know what's going on. And I kept telling them, it's not just pneumonia. My mama gut tells me that something else is going on. So I'm sitting in the parking lot when I get the phone call that they're going to have to cut his chest open and put in chest tubes. And they told me that I would need to start making preparations in case he didn't make it out of the hospital. And, you know, every day just praying, praying, praying for God to heal my baby right then. I needed it right then. But I knew in my heart that if God was going to take my baby away from me, there was nothing I could do to change that. So um, I just told God, you sent your son uh, to die for me, and you sacrificed everything. I can do the same. So I get back up to the room and they have him on a little bed ready to wheel him out and I say my goodbyes to him. And the infectious disease doctor comes in and says they're gonna take some tests and, and the doctors come back from the x-rays and they tell me and their faces are just in shock. And they said, we can't explain this but there's no more fluid left in either lung. And we can't even get a sample. There's not even enough to take a sample. And he was like, I, I can't explain this, but it, all the fluid's gone. And I said, I can explain it. I know why my baby has no more fluid in his lungs because God healed him. So I just remember thinking this overwhelming feeling of gratitude because this miracle had happened and, and I had witnessed it. And um, so we went for x-ray six months later, completely healed, not a trace of it since, no scarring, nothing. And so, I mean, he was my little miracle baby. So before, I always had this unsettling, like I never had this feeling of peace. Then when Brody was in the hospital and I would, Isaiah 41:10, every single day, every single day I would pray this prayer and it was like every day God would talk to me and we would, I would just sit in this stillness and hear his machine and it was, it's just overwhelming just knowing that he's always there and if I would just surrender that control that I want to keep my hand in that cookie jar, um, then he will always take care of me. And I completely, 100% knew that no matter what, God was always gonna be on my side.